walking in the house in my room, gotta make her put it on. She don't like when they close, just left car call. No care, lock. I was licking on booty in the whole lot of vagina. Eat a booze with some ice cream, she'll remember you. Ice cube, make it jam, shaving like the one they do. Do, see me with the crew. I bet get some food. I see you looking like a dude. Had to make a move, make a move. What up, y'all? Stay the Mighty, aka the Global Dawson Ambassador, with another news article. This comes from the New York Post, and this is alleged New York City poop perp Frank Abraqua, Abraqua, whatever, scalded with boiling water on his face while at Rikers Island. So from New York City, you know that over the past months, maybe over the past year, there's been an increase in crimes going on on New York City subways, okay? And and some of these situations have been uh, knife-related. In another situation, there was a man who was rubbing feces in women's faces. So yeah, this guy is a real dingling. He's a real dingling head. You know what I'm saying? He's a, he, he's a real Nick asshole, right? So let's read the article about how he got what he deserved. Without further ado, let's go. The sicko who allegedly smeared his own feces on a New York City strap hanger was scalded in the face with boiling water on Rikers Island, the Post has learned. Frank Arbacar's face is expected to have scars for the rest of his life after a fellow Rikers inmate detainee splashed him with boiling water late last week at the Anna M. Cross Correctional Facility, jailhouse sources say. The attacker ironically has the last name Burns and was moved to a different housing area following the incident, a source noted. Albuqua, who infamously told police Ish happens after he was arrested for rubbing his own feces on a 43-year-old woman as she waited for the subway on February 21st, had a target on his back following the nauseating incident, sources say. He didn't deserve it. Yes, he did. He's a bitch-ass nigga. He didn't deserve it, but if anyone was going to get burned, he would be the first one in line, a source noted. The source pointed out the incident could permanently disfigure Abraqua and his attacker, who's in custody on felony assault charges, will likely be rearrested on new raps. You can wash ish off your face and remain with the mental scars. When it comes to hot water, you will have physical and mental scars for the rest of your life, the sources said. The events that led up to the violent altercation remain unclear. Jailhouse sources noted Abaqua clearly has mental health issues and has been known to snap at the drop of a hat since he arrived at the notorious jail complex in mid-March. Look at him. Wrong or say the wrong thing and he was ready to fight, one source said. Earlier this year, Abaqua, 37, became a rallying cry for politicians eager to see changes to New York's soft on crime the bail reform laws, after he was allegedly caught on surveillance footage, defecating into a bag and whacking it across a woman's face, smearing it in her hair, face and eyes, prosecutors said previously. Following the incident, Albuquerque was arrested and charged with forcible touching, menacing, disorderly conduct, and harassment. But because the crimes are considered nonviolent, a judge couldn't set bail in the case and he was allowed to walk free. He was finally locked up on March 21st after he allegedly charged into an office at a Harlem storage facility, shattered a glass window with a, dumb, with a dumbbell, and threatened a worker. Court records state. He currently has another five pending cases against him. Records show. The Legal Aid Society, which reps Arbaqua, didn't immediately return a request for comment. Okay, um... I have a little bit more sympathy for this man 
after reading a little bit more of the details, he this is a very sick man. This is a very sick man, and it's it's tricky when you're trying to decide who should be locked up and sh who shouldn't be locked up. You know, um, he has a clear, clear, clear mental health issue. He's very irrational, very impulsive, and I really would wish that this brother could get as much of the help that he needs for as long as he needs. People like this are extremely reckless and unpredictable, and people like him should really have to sit down for a while. Um, My first thought is to be against sedation and putting people on medication because I would hope that through some kind of therapy, some kind of other form of natural healing, people's issues could be resolved and fixed. But they talking about he's throwing dumbbells through glass windows, threatening people. He's rubbing feces in random women's faces. He's already in jail, being hostile. This is somebody who, he's not living in a world of logic, and that's very dangerous for a man. A man who doesn't live in the realm of logic is a threat and a danger to himself and everyone around him because he doesn't respect himself and everything around him. You know, this is very, very, very tricky, you know. Uh, his karma for rubbing feces in a woman's face, I guess, is boiling, boiling hot, scalding water. You know, um, he brought that upon himself. But I feel less happy about the situation now that I know he has mental health issues. You know, um, we all have people like this in our family, irrational people. Not maybe not people who are as crazy as him. But we all have two to five people in our family that could end up like this person one day. You know, uh, this is somebody who needs not to be locked up per se. If he could not attack people, this is somebody who needs to be in like a Bellevue, uh, 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 a mental health facility where he can get the help that he needs. You know, him being locked up. With people who do things like rob people, murderers, you know, gang members, things like that. He will not survive. These are not the people where he should be around because these people are going to do things like throw boiling water on him. Even if he has to be in a mental facility and he has to to to, to be in um a straitjacket, that's better than him hurting someone or someone hurting him in retaliation or knowing what he did because people still get violated for doing unnecessary things to women and children in jail, no matter what's going on. Violence, extreme violence towards women and children, these dudes still get dealt with anywhere in jail. They still get dealt with the harshest. Rikers Island in New York City is a funny, funny, funny place, man. Like it's, it's a funny place. Like it's a place where, it's a place where the right people or people who may never get in trouble again, they stay longer. And the people who gonna get in trouble again, they come out faster. You know, like it's it's a slippery, slippery, slippery slope. But you know, this man, this man rubbed feces in a woman's face for absolutely no reason. This is like unacceptable, no matter what's the cause. Putting feces in somebody's face, I believe it burns. It all went in her hair and her eyes. Like he traumatized this woman. This woman is going to feel scared every time she rides the subway for the rest of her life. You know, like this is, 
this is like a real situation, you know? But at the same time, this is somebody who's clearly like deranged and, and needs to be sat down somewhere. Maybe forever. If he can't mentally get himself to a different level, you know? Um, but hey, man, y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.